Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a continuation of my previous video. I've actually solved this 5A in my previous video, and I told you people that in my next video that I'm going to solve this B. So this is me fulfilling my promise. Okay, so in this B, if you miss this video, please check my page or my channel for it. It's there. Now, this one is what we are about to solve now. The question says, if 3 is a root of the quadratic equation, x squared plus bx minus 15 equals 0. Determine the value of b. That is the first question. We are asked to determine the value of b. Then we are also asked to find the other root. Okay? Now, when we are giving something like this, first of all, let me bring this question home. If they say that, a particular quadratic equation which is x squared plus sorry let's write our solution first our solution okay we are told that this particular quadratic equation x squared plus bx minus 15 equals zero has that one of its roots is what three that one of its roots is three so we are asked to find the value of this b now, if one of its roots is 3, you know, after solving this particular equation, we're supposed to get two roots or two solutions. x is equal to 3 or x is equal to the other one that we don't know, okay? So, if one of the values of x is 3, that means we can substitute x, our, uh, our x here as 3. We can substitute 3 into this particular equation as our x so that we can get our b because we are asked to determine the value of b. So, this is what we are going to do. Substitute, substitute x equal to what? 3 into the equation. Into the equation, okay? So, we are going to substitute x equal to 3 into the equation. So, we are going to have 3 raised to the power of 2 plus b into 3 minus 15 is equal to zero so anywhere you see x here you put three so three squared is going to give us nine plus b times three is three b right minus 15 is equal to zero so we collect like terms this implies nine minus 15 is going to give us minus six right so we're going to have minus six plus three b plus three b is equal to zero okay so having gotten this now we can write that three b is equal to i want this minus six to cross over to the other side so that i have only three b one side you know we are looking for b so i need b to be on its own i don't want anything disturbing it so for that to happen this minus six needs to leave it alone to the other side and if minus six to cross this equation sign it will become plus six so it's going to be equal to six because six is same as plus six right so this implies for me to get this b i need to divide both sides by three because it's only when I say over 3, over 3, that this 3, we cancel this 3, and we are left with only B that we are looking for, okay? So 3, we divide itself 1, divide 6, you are going to have 2. So it means that our B is equal to 2. All right, having gotten that B is equal to 2 as our solution, we have gotten the first solution to the first question to determine the value of B. But we are also asked to find the other root. Then you know this quadratic equation x raised power of two means that the answer has to be two. They've given us one, which is three. So the other answer is what they ask us to find. Now, how do we do that? Remember that when you have a quadratic equation, normally when you have a quadratic equation, if you want to solve it, you normally look for two um two numbers that when you multiply them, you are going to get this constant, right? Then when you add them, you are going to get this one that normally has x with it. The variable x so it means that this constant is always the product of our of our roots okay so it means that when we multiply those two roots that this particular question is supposed to have we are supposed to get minus 15. so see what i'm going to do now you can say but okay let's say let the other root let the other root be equal to t. Let's call the other root t. Okay? So that means that, but t times 3. That is t. That is the other root you are looking for times the 3 that we are told is one of the roots. When you multiply, they are supposed to get this constant, which is minus 15. Okay? Now, let us continue. <clears throat> 
So we can write that t times 3 is what? 3t. That means that 3t is equal to minus what? Minus 15. All right. So how do we get our t? To get our t, we need to divide both sides by 3. Because it's only when I divide here by 3, that 3 will cancel 3, and I'm left with only t that I'm looking for. But whatever I do to this side, I will also do it to this side. Okay? So it means that 3 will divide itself here 1. Divide minus 15 will give you minus 5. Okay? So that implies that our t is equal to what? Minus 5. Okay. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, it means that you're already enjoying what I'm doing. That is why you followed me to this stage. Please do well to subscribe, okay? So that you'll be notified. And click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload what? New videos. All right, this is our final answer. T is equal to minus 5. And our B is equal to 2. Do have a lovely day and bye.